Hi everybody, it's Robert Earl again from the Eco Ranch out here in far west Texas. You can notice the sun's going down, we're losing our light, and that's good. That's what I'm that's what I'm here to show you. And you can also see I'm in my Homer Simpson pajamas that say, please give me another last chance. Um, because it's this is the time of day that I put my Homer Simpsons on or my Stewies um, and have a drink or two. But first, I want to tell you about our newest project here, and I'm really, really um, I'm really excited about it. Now, it's expensive, but it's something that if you want to be, um, if you want to live this way and you don't have the kind of money to have, to buy a bunch of forklift batteries, I just got lucky. I came into the money. I didn't earn it. I came into it and I bought the forklift batteries. But if you don't have that, this is something that can help you out. Let me show you what we've got here. This is a DC generator. Now, there are many, many of these DC generators on the internet, um, and and they're all every one of them that I've seen has been wonderful. I I kind of designed this one, and then I left it up to the to the fellow in uh, here in Terlingua that uh, did the fabricating and the welding for me. So I did not build this; he built it. But what we have is a 16 horsepower. Duramax engine. Duramax is sold by Max Tools, and if you search either Duramax or Max Tools, you can find that out. It's a 16 horsepower motor, electric start. Now, over here, we have a Thermodyne PMA. You can't see it, and I'll tell you the truth, I don't know which PMA it is because we did have a little problem. Uh, it, we, well, the first one we got was damaged in shipping, and that gave Bob at Thermodyne a chance to send me one that he said he, quote, custom-made himself. It has a 4-inch pulley back here on it. I have a 6-inch pulley on the back of the motor, so the, the reduction isn't all that great. But with a 16-horsepower motor, hopefully we should be able to idle this thing and still produce a lot of power. The reason I say hopefully is I haven't done it yet. We haven't started this. This will be the first time. You guys are going to see it. We're at 12.1 for power right now because we have a, um, a big electric toaster oven that's got a rotisserie in it and 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 end. And I have that cooking our dinner and I did it on purpose so that the power would be low. So this is, a, is my voltmeter from Coleman Air. Um, and it's a voltmeter that can, that'll show me voltage up to, you know, 200 volts. Uh, they've got another one, but it would burn out with this because this has the potential of putting out um, oh gosh, I don't know, but it, it'll put out at least 50 volts. Here I have a tachometer so that I know where I'm setting the engine speed in relation to what I want to do here. And right here I'm going to press a button and this voltage should go off. Nope, it didn't. Okay. Well, anyway, I've, I've popped the circuit here. Now the reason I popped the circuit is now there's no resistance on the PMA for when we do go ahead to start it. Now, coming off the back of the PMA is four four. Uh, 4 o wire or 4 aught wire. I'm hoping this gets into the, I'm sure this is in the picture. I've got the plugs here, normal, um, you know, normal forklift plugs. The 4 aught wire comes off, goes into here, and unfortunately I had run 1 aught wire all the way out. So it goes from 4 to 1, but I can't help that, but I think the one's going to be okay here. Now the whole thing could start by wiring it into the 12 volt system that the house is. But I had my, my motorcycle battery and that really makes this truly portable where I can move it anywhere I want to move it. If I needed to, I could go into the battery bank. Right now it's plugged into the emergency uh, plug. The emergency plug is the one that we pull the truck up here and we can plug the truck into. And we plug the truck into that and it'll give us uh, it'll allow the truck to charge our battery some if we have a real dire emergency, but hopefully this does away with the emergency. So let's choke it up and see what we have. I don't know if you can see this, but it says 12.3 right now. You probably won't hear me talking. I'll see. But it's 12.3 right now. Let's see what we get. We're going to choke it. Let's fire it up. It's. Um, I'm going to fire it up on low speed. Here we go. I don't 
don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm real close to the, you yeah, probably can see my big nose here. We're at 12.9 now, I'm gonna crank it up a little bit. Okay, so I've cut her down, and um, it seems to work just fine. It's going to need tweaking, of course, but um, uh, I noticed in the back I've got a couple of things I need to tighten down. But this is essentially, um, this is essentially a DC generator. Now, the problem with this is this DC generator. It's sitting on a um, on a 1,000 pound uh, capacity cart. So I can wheel it around if I needed to. Uh, and really the reason for this is I can wheel it from here into my shed and keep it out of the way until I need it, which won't be often with the, uh, with the battery system we have. But it's on, um, it's, it's on a, a cart, hooked up the way it is. I've got around $1,000 invested in this thing. Now if you've shopped generators, you know you can buy a pretty decent generator for $1,000. Uh, but then you have to buy a battery charger, and you've got the generator creating power that you put into the battery charger, and you've got a 20% loss on one end and a 20% loss on the other. This way I've got all the current going directly into my batteries uh, from this, and then the power inverters and the batteries themselves can take over. I think it's pretty cool. We'll see what happens later on, but if anyone uh, would like any more information on it, by all means, just drop me an email. I'll uh, be happy to you know, correspond with you or telephone me. But drop me an email first, because when I respond to your email, you've got my phone number and you can call me back. And of course, the email is robert at eco ranch, eco, E-C-O hyphen ranch, R-A-N-C-H dot U-S. Uh, and I'll be happy to, to answer any questions there. If you do comment on um, YouTube, that's fine. Go ahead and comment. But if you do, hit that like button. I don't know why. Maybe it's something that, that's important. Maybe it isn't. But hit that like button for me. And um, there'll be more videos and more things coming out soon. But right now, it's nighttime. Dinner's cooking. Time for a drink. And good night, everyone.